everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here then hello and welcome my name is marina i post two beauty related videos every week on a wednesday and sunday so if that sounds like something you're interested in then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll leave my instagram up here if you would like to give me a follow and we can be friends here on the lovely internet so in today's video we are going to be reviewing a barry m eyeshadow palette this is the treasure chest palette um it says it's baked matte and metallic eyeshadow palette um so this is what it looks like you can get this on the barry m website i did get mine from boots but i don't think they stock it anymore they might have it online i'll have it linked down below anyway this isn't sponsored or anything this is completely my opinion i like to share reviews especially of affordable makeup the price of this eyeshadow palette on the Barry M website is £12.99. pence. You get free delivery when you spend £25 but they do often have deals on the website so just keep an eye for that. If it is available at Boots and Superdrug I'll link it down below. Um, so you get 18 eyeshadows in here. It is vegan and it is cruelty free. I've had this palette for quite a while now, it's not a new palette, but I just think it's a really, really nice affordable palette, which is different from some other brands, and I don't really hear people talking about Barry M eyeshadows, which is why I really wanted to do this. So today I'll be doing a swatch, live swatches of all the colours, and I have done this eye look here, which I will include some close-ups of, and I have used the Barry M Crush Jewels, oh, which is amazing as well. Um, so yeah, let's just go in here. So you have got the mattes and the shimmers. The shimmers are incredible. They are like foiled. They are so, so pigmented. Um, the mattes are really pigmented as well. I used it in the crease here. So what I'm actually going to do is insert the swatches, insert my tutorial, and then I am going to be back with my final thoughts on this palette. So first of all, we are going to be needing to prime the lids. I have already got a bit of concealer on them, but I am just going to take a tiny bit of the um, the K Eden eyeshadow primer potion, which I have spoken about loads, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just want to pat this onto the eyelids and it is really important to be using some sort of primer or base as this is going to ensure your eyeshadow stays in place all day and you don't get any creasing we do not want that so i've got my treasure chest palette here which we're going to be using today i know i've just showed you but look how Morning. so the first shade I would like to take is this beautiful brown matte shade here so we are going to start by working this into our crease um, so just taking a little bit and tapping that off so I'm going to start on the outer corner of my eyelid and just tap that on there and then we'll be using circular motions like so just to blend this up through the crease it would be nice if there was a slightly darker brown in this palette because this is pretty much i mean there's a dark purple which is cute but I mean, if you're doing a brown smoky eye, which is what I want to do, I would prefer to have a, a darker matte colour. There's a black sparkly shade, which we can use, but it would have just been nice if they included a darker matte brown in the palette. Because, like, if you're travelling and you only want to take one palette, these sorts of things are really important, I find. But, nevertheless, it is still lovely so that's been placed on the lid really really nicely it's quite a lot of kickback in the palette to be honest with you but as long as you're tapping off the brush then we're not going to get any fallout so now that we've got this really pretty brun in the eyelid 
I do want to deepen it up, but like I said, we ain't got no dark brown. Um, we could use a sparkly black. We're going to give it a try because that's what we're going to do. So at this point, to deepen up, we could go in with this purple, but meh. So I'm going to try and use this sparkly black. Like I say, it would be nice if there was a deeper matte brown but there's not so I'm just gonna take a touch of this black <laughs> uh, excuse me are you are you here um okay this is not very pigmented but we are going to build this up slowly okay Yes, see, she's building up. It's all right, it's all right. We can do this. Starting by patting it on and then just doing really small motions and then just running my brush back and forth. So that's added a little bit of depth and then I'm just gonna go back in with the brush we used earlier and just really blend the edges just to make sure. There is no harsh lines because we do not want harsh lines. So just doing the same on this eye. It might take a little while to build up the colour but that's okay. I am tapping really really lightly into the product because I don't want any fallout on my face and I don't want this to be too crazy I just want it to deepen a little bit I just want to show you the kickback in the palette I mean it's not terrible but just to show you so I don't want to make this too crazy like you know um so what I'm gonna do next I'm actually going to cut the crease a little bit and I'm going to use the Barium Crushed Jewels Cream Eyeshadow. Now this one's in the shade Full Fairy Tale. This is my absolute favourite. I used to wear this like every single day. And this one is in the shade Duvet Day. Just to show you. These are amazing. This one more so. I, for some reason the formula of this one is just amazing. This one's still good. But if I was to reach for either, I would reach for this one. Mine is drying up. I need to get a new one. So let's try this out. Um, it's got a nice Stouffer applicator. I don't know if I'm going to get any product. I've just pulled this out and there's like nothing there. Yeah, no, she is a bit, she's a bit dry. Just gonna use what I can and put it on the lid, but I really, really need to repurchase this. But yeah, I've had this for so long. Oh, okay, we've got a little bit more here. So I'm just gonna use this, just slightly cut the crease. This would work a lot better if there was more product, but that's my fault for not having one that is new and then try and do the same on the other eye how pretty is that colour and then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that black that we used and just lightly tap over the edge just to kind of blend this in we don't want any harsh lines I'm gonna take this shimmery brown here right at the bottom there and just going to blend this over the black and the shimmery shade here so just gonna tap this on I really love these shimmers like they're really foiled and having this base down will help you don't have to use the base but 
I just think it just gives a really nice pop. <laughs> Look how pretty. And then you can leave it as it is, but I'm doing a review of this palette, so it makes sense to use it. Um, I'm actually going to take this. Ooh, which one? Mm -hmm. It's between these two. I think we're going to take this one and then we'll put that on the inner corner. So we'll take this slightly darker one next. And just going to tap this. Ooh, that's pretty. So pretty. Oh, I literally love these shadows. Like, for the price. And they're vegan and they're cruelty free. And just look at that. So I'm just going to pop in a little bit of a black liner into my waterline. This is the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal. I don't own that many liners, so I'm just going to use this one. And we're going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to use a little bit of that darker metallic brown we used earlier and then a little bit of this one here. So I'll start with the dark one on the outer corner. I'm just going to take a small pencil brush for this. And then just run this underneath the lower lash line. I'll take that more golden shade that we used on the lid and pop that underneath as well. And then I'm going to take the shade we used in the crease and just run that underneath, underneath both of them, just so it's quite smoked out. And then I want to pop some shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm going to take this shade that I mentioned earlier, that really cute one, and then just pop that in the inner corner it's not as like light as I would like it to be I'm gonna take a little bit of this purpley iridescent one just because I think it will give us a little bit more shimmer hopefully this doesn't ruin everything yeah that's just kind of brightened up the inner corner a little bit I'm not mad at it and then that's cool so what i'm gonna do is go and pop on some liner and some lashes and mascara and then i will be back really hope that you enjoyed or watching of those so I do absolutely adore this palette I love it I would recommend that you buy it however like I mentioned in the tutorial it would be nicer if they had a matte black not a matte black a matte dark brown I mean this shade in here 
to be honest these two shades i feel like they could do without they might be nice for someone with extremely light skin but i just feel like why do i need two colors like this like i mean some people use them to set their um faces which is fine they're both light matte colours and I don't feel like a palette needs two really really light close to white matte colours. There's just absolutely no need for it. Maybe one like the yellow one's quite nice like I say for setting the primer. Some people like to do that. But personally they could have put um, a dark brown in here. And then this colour here, again it's a matte shade but it's so light. Like what can you do? Can you? I don't even think you can see it on my thing so on my hand so personally i personally wouldn't use these matte this one this one no wait this one this one and this one i wouldn't use and for me a palette needs to have more mattes i'm not saying i would still get this palette obviously i have this palette i would still recommend you buy it i wouldn't go traveling with this purely because of the fact there's not a darker shade to blend it out so maybe if you're like if you like more natural looks then this would be absolutely perfect i did manage to deepen it up with the black but it would be nice to have had a brown in there nevertheless i really like this palette i'm glad i bought it and i would still recommend it i think it's really nice and affordable the colors are lovely um yeah but maybe a couple more matte shade so again maybe something to go with these like i don't know maybe just maybe like this shade this and this but in a matte that would be quite nice as well so i think they could have thought a little bit more about the matte shades because you don't need three really lights just a little bit darker would have been nicer but i'm not bashing the palette at all i still think it's a great palette I have rambled on for so long but I really really enjoyed this palette I hope you found this review helpful if you did then please don't forget to thumbs up the video don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already it's completely free and go and check out my Instagram give me a follow and we can be friends over there so without further ado that is all I will stop rambling and I'll see you next time bye